Um, so how to assign these things? So at the moment we have to care about some some stuff. So we actually ha don't have to care about the create button really because that that doesn't really matter too much. But we have to care about the edit text because the text which is in the edit text is going to be the name for our person and of course the age which we are not going to convert because that wouldn't really make sense but we still don't know. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to get a name so I'm just going to call this name txt and then um, basically this is a shorter way than just repeating yourself over and over again with edit text so I'm just going to add a comma and call this h txt. That's basically sharp stuff, I'm sorry for saying that but I just want to make sure that everyone can follow along here even if you're not that experienced with C-sharp. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to assign these variables up here so these text, added texts, oh my that's a horrible name, and I'm going to assign them. And how do you do that, you probably ask? Well, it's fairly simple. Um, so we're going to take the name text and I'm going to equal this to find view by ID. Now you have to put in here uh, what kind of control you were talking about. And then some brackets and now you put resource yeah, resource, well, great, up there. Resource.id dot yeah, and this is the funny thing because it's if you change the ID and add things to that it's actually not going to update which is really crappy in this Xamarin Studio thing. So what you have to do, you have to, after you added all your controls and changed the ID and all that, you have to go to build and build all. Now it's going to build the application and, whoa, we get an error. Beautiful. Uh, are you kidding? Oh, thank you so much. Integer types not allowed. Okay, I did not know that. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that I messed this up. I have never actually used the gravity thing before. Oh. I think that's, of course, ah, damn it, okay, I think it's center vertical, um, it's not, horizontal, yeah, that's it, okay, I'm sorry, okay, <laughs> great, <laughs> we got it, I'm sorry, I signed um, an integer to this, uh, so now let's build it again, it's probably not going to give us an error anymore, so as you can see right here, it's weird, okay, w what are these names, okay, interesting, um, so now what we're going to do, name txt, equals to, well, let's try this again, find view by ID, and we of course need a edit text, or an edit text, and now we're going to do resource, dot ID, and now we have all our controls in here, so as you can see, it just added this to our resource designer.cs file. So now of course we want to get the name, so name edit text, that's what we call it. So now it's assigned, and we need to the HTXT as well, and we're going to do the same thing, find view by ID, so you probably could just use a loop to go through all the controls and just assign them, but that would be way too much to do right now because that really isn't worth it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you this in the future most likely. So now H edit text. Okay, just like this. Isn't that great? Okay, so now what we're going to do as well um, is we have to sign events because what we want to do, um, we don't want the user to be able to create this person um, if he hasn't entered anything in here in those in both of these text boxes. So first I'm going to go to the widget and set the enable property of the button to oh, behavior actually is to uh, false by default. And now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get the event so I'm going to make a new void and I'm sorry this tutorial is taking too long but um, I'm probably going to split this into two parts but I'm not really entirely sure if we're going to do this like that yet okay so you're just going to do void and now I'm going to call this um, <sighs> edit txt and then text changed I know this is really not the greatest name for this but still it's alright so then we're going to add some arguments in here so object center and event args E. Of course, you can add the text change event args, which are in the android.txt uh, namespace, but I'm not going to do this because it's really not worth it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to name txt dot text um, change plus equals to edit txts. You can also use, um, what is it called again? Um, lambda expressions, but I'm not going to do this, it's not really worth it, really dot text changed and another another event we're just going to be edit txt's oh text 
changed. Just like that. Okay, so this is going to work for now, and of course we have to add the button as well, so I'm just going to quickly see, because we have to, I'm, I'm going to declare a button up here as well, so just to make this work. I'm going to call this create button, and now I'm going to add a button. Um, so I'm going to do create button equals to find view by ID button and then resource oh my goodness I'm so bad at typing this and then create button okay and now I'm gonna add the clicked event so we're gonna do create a button dot clicked click okay it's different here and we're gonna call this create button underscore clicked yeah I know it's actually click but who cares it doesn't matter void um, create button underscore clicked and it's of course object sender and event arcs e. Okay, so this has taken so long, but I'm probably going to speed this up in the final version of this video. I don't know. Um, okay, so now let's see how this is going to work. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to our create button dot enabled, and we're going to set the enabled to property that it's going to be true if um. I'm just going to put this in here, so string dot is null or white space, and then we're going to take our name txt dot text, and and we're going to take string dot, I tried this to put the whole, to put a, an exclamation mark around the whole bracket right here, or the parentheses, but it did not work, so I'm going to do it this way just to make sure because <laughs> I don't know it wasn't working in Visual Studio so I'm not quite sure if this is gonna work um... yeah okay so now we have the create button and whenever the create button is clicked what we want to do is of course show a message box that says this is the person and stuff like that um... and no we don't want that okay so what we're gonna do uh... we're gonna go to alert dialog dot builder equals to a new alert dialog dot builder and now we have to reference the activity, which is this. And now, oh, of course I forgot to assign a name here, so I'm just going to call this alert. And now what you can do, um, oh, okay, alert dot set title. This is going to be our title, and you can just pass through a string right here. I'm just going to call this your person. And then we're going to do alert dot set message. And we're gonna do your um, name, and then we're gonna do plus name txt dot text plus um, and then plus is it? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. H plus h txt dot text, and boom, we are done. And now we have to put one thing here in here mm, just to make sure that everything is working just fine. So what we have to do, uh, we have to put um, set neutral button, I think it is. Oh yeah, that's right here. And now what you have to do, um, we're going to set a, so this is basically the caption of our button. So I'm going to put a string in here, which is going to be called dismiss. Or you can put OK or whatever you want. And then you have to use a lambda expression right here. So I'm just going to use uh, send. No, I don't want to use sender. Okay, it's doing that as well. And then some arguments. No, I don't want to. Oh, God damn it, I hate this. Okay, no! Oh my goodness. Okay, no, you're not doing that again. No, go away. I don't want you here. Okay, and now, yes, I forgot. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, and now our lambda expression. And now to curly braces, and we're going to do alert. <laughs> dot alerty dot this pose and then this and that is our button so whenever we are clicking this dismiss button what it's gonna do it's gonna dispose the alert so now we're just gonna do alert dot create and then alert dot um, show so just like this and it's always going to give us this person right here so now once we're done with our whole app right here um, as you can see, we coded quite a bit here. Um, we are ready to go, I suppose. So let's take a look at our product. 
and this is going to be just fine, um, I hope. <laughs> Looks good to me. So now you're probably going to get a transition to the actual final product. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you right now is debug right here. So you just hit start and then you can select your device. I actually do have an Android device around here so I'm going to use this but of course you can use an emulator. What, whatever you prefer, I'm sorry. Okay, so good to go for a transition. So as you can see, it's built successfully, so we don't have to worry about things like that. Okay, well, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. You're going to see the product now, and uh, thanks for being here and participating in this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't, and um, more tutorials are going to be uploaded pretty soon. Thanks.